Wisdom is a loving spirit. Wisdom is a lo- you hear that? You hear that, sis? Wisdom is a loving spirit. It's a loving spirit, right? Now, someone that loves their people. Someone that loves their people. Is someone that loves their people gonna steal from them? They gonna kill them? Nah, they're not gonna do that. They gonna pray for them? Yeah, somebody loves their people gonna pray for them. I like that. They gonna pray for them, right? Somebody that loves their people. Are they going to make them a girlfriend or a boyfriend? That's right. And somebody that love that people ain't going to do that. It's an what do you intend to do? Right. That's get married. That's what we need to do. That's what you're supposed to we got to get when married. God went through that with Mary and Joseph to show you how you're supposed to approach it. Hebrews 13 and 4. Marriage is honorable. You understand? And what God puts together, let no man put on. That's right. That's right. That, but it's going to take time and work to grow old with each other. Yeah, it's not a, it's not something that happens overnight. You gotta keep God in your marriage. You gotta keep God in your marriage. Very good. Read what you got. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. The Bible say what? Marriage is honorable in all. The Bible say marriage is honorable in all, right? It's an honorable thing to be married, to grow old with your husband, to grow old with your wife. Right? Grow old. Is that something that comes easy? No. No, it don't come easy. Because you know what? You're gonna have that. Give me, give me uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 35, I think. Is that what I want? Married brothers? What, 20, oh, 29, 7, 729. 729. Give me that one. 1 Corinthians 7 and 29. Nah, growing old together don't come easy. All right? Don't come easy. Read what you got. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 29. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. Verse 28. Verse 28. But if thou marry... Thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she hath not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. Such shall have trouble in the flesh. You understand? I mean that what you're gonna have little disagreements. Right? right? right. Sister gonna sister gonna uh sister sister gonna say something out of pocket, you're gonna have to put it in her place. You understand? That's called trouble in the flesh. You understand? That's that's what it is, right? Brother, brother, brother might make a mistake. You understand? Brother got to be corrected. Get in order. You understand? By his leadership. All right? Brother might have to apologize for some things. Deal with her according to knowledge. Right? These are things that we're going to have to do. All right? But guess what? That's called growing old together. It's honorable. What's dishonorable is when a man says, I can't get this woman right. I think I'm going to get me another one. You understand? Or the woman says, you know what? This man ain't. He ain't like the last one I had, so I think I'm gonna get me a new one. That's evil. No That's God, evil. No God in that. Nah, it ain't no God in that. It ain't no God in that. <laughs> no God. So you know what we out here to do, sister? We out here to teach our people who we are according to the Bible. All right. That's what we out here to do. We're the Israelites. All right. What's your nationality? Do you know? Mexican. What, your father is Mexican. No, my dad was Mexican. What's your what's your fa- what's your father? What's his nationality? Oriental. <laughs> what's Oriental mean? Yes, he, uh, he didn't know exactly. My last name is Singletary. It's Irish. Singletary is Irish. All right. Well, guess what? King James ruled Scotland. He was a black man. Right. Did you know that? Right. Yes, he did. Many black people ruled in I in, in Ireland. Many black people. Many black people. We at one point in time, you probably know them as the Moors, but those were Israelites. You understand? And we ruled. We ruled that country. Okay. Not all of us. Well, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Not all of us was broke. You understand? Not all of us. You think King James was a broke? You think he was broke? Nah, he was the king. He ruled Scotland. You understand? He had a lot of money. He had so much money, we still had a book he authorized today. That's how much money he had. Yeah, that's how much power he had. That's how much influence he had. You understand? That was a prophet of God used to do God's work. You understand? That's who that was. Give me uh, Isaiah chapter 28, verse 11. All right? Isaiah chapter 28, verse 11. 
Hey, my brother, I can't see you, man. Come over here. Come over here. I can't see you, man. What's your name? Officer. <clears throat> All right, read what you got. Officer. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28 and verse 11. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to to this people. You see that? So right now we, we reading this Bible in what language? What language are we reading the Bible in? In English. In English, right? But guess what? Your forefathers, the ones that was living in Ireland, was they speaking English during that time? They may have been, but what, what, what were their forefathers speaking? They probably were speaking Latin because that was the language of the land during that time, right? You say, say it again? Well, Roman numerals, that comes from Latin, right? That's all the same thing. So the language of Rome was Latin. So we're saying the same thing. We're saying the same thing, right? So uh, read that again. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. Right, so now we're reading English because the Bible was translated by King James. That was written in the Bible that happened thousands of years before it happened. That's what we're reading about. This, this Bible prophecy right here. King James was used to fulfill this right here. He was like a piece on the chessboard. You, know, you play chess? You play chess? You play? Okay, so King James was called what? On the chessboard. Uh, he was like a king. Yeah. Uh, he's more like a. He's more like a. Uh, a low. Uh, he's more like a pawn. <laughs> he's more like a pawn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say it again. Most people seen his seen it his way. I, I don't explain it to me, so I so I make sure I understand what you're saying. Because he was the king. Because he was. Oh yeah, yeah, right. So when you got king, you got all power, right? So. You really don't need to be right, but you're right. That's what you're saying, right? I understand, I understand. Well, it's good that he didn't write the Bible. He just translated it. <laughs> you understand? The prophets wrote it. All right? Give me, um, what you got? Yeah, read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 68 and verse 11. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. So who, who gave the word? The Lord gave that thing, right? But guess what? Many companies published what King James translated. Many companies did that. And that was all the Lord's will as well. All of that was the Lord's will. All right, so now today we know how to come back to keeping God's commandments. You understand? That's, that's what we know from what the Lord did. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm going to show you something real quick before we close out. Verse 68. All right, because my forefathers, right, came over here on slave ships. Not all of our forefathers came over here on slave ships, but many of our forefathers did, Right? You agree with that, right? Did you know that was in the Bible? I'm going to show it to you. Did you know that was in the Bible? I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. The slave, oh, the sub-Saharan slave trade? No, when they were in the wilderness. The Oh, just listen. I'm going to read it for you. Just listen. I'm going to clear it up for you real good, all right? This was in the wilderness after Moses came to deliver his people from Egypt. This was said to the Israelites, our forefathers, all right? The people we have on this sign make up the 12 tribes of Israel right here. So we have Judah, right? That's the American blacks. We have Issachar. You know who Issachar is? The Mexicans. That's who Issachar is. The Mexicans. They come from the tribe of Issachar. All right. We also have Gad. You know who Gad is? The Native Americans. God calls them Gad. You understand? Then we got Levi. You know who Levi is? The so-called Haitians. God calls them Levi. Moses, you would look at him today and say he was a, a Haitian. That's what you would think. You saw him? Right? If he was back on the earth, he'd probably be speaking. What'd they speak? Patswa? What'd they speak? Creole. 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 Creole Patswa, right? That's what he'd be speaking today. Right? If he was back on the earth. Right? He he don't look like uh what's the what's the dude name? Charleston? Charleston he don't look like him. He don't look like Charleston Hester. That's not how Moses look. He's a black dark skinned man. You understand? Skin like it burnt inside of a furnace. Dark chocolate. That's how he was. You understand? Now read what the Lord said to Moses. All right? Get Charleston Hustle out your mind. And not him. I'm talking about the black man. You understand? Say it again. Van no, not vanilla chocolate. Even vanilla is what color, brother? Say it again. Even vanilla is what color? 
What color is vanilla? Real vanilla. Real vanilla is what color, sis? I know you cook. What, what color vanilla? It's white, but that's not what it is. No, it ain't. Vanilla extract, what color is it? It's brown. Thank you. All right, so real vanilla is what? Brown. It's brown. All right, it's brown. But I know in his mind, he thinking about that white vanilla. Right? He thinking about cookies and cream. That's what he got in his mind. Right? <laughs> that's why I had to make sure I cleared it up for you. Vanilla is brown, brother. It's brown, all right? Stay right here, stay right here, stay right here. We're going to read this for you. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Lord said this to Moses. He said, look, I'm going to bring you and all your people back into Egypt. I just delivered y'all. All right, but try me if you want to. You understand? Try me if you want to. All right? Think I'm playing. I, I, guarantee, I guarantee you I will bring these things to pass. This whole nation that you see that I delivered, I split the Red Sea. Y'all walk through the sea. I destroyed the Egyptians for all of these people that you see right now. Um, understand, if you don't do what I'm telling you right now, I'm going to take you right back into Egypt. This is what's being told to Moses. You understand? Come on. Again with ships. Lord say, I'll take your whole, all, you and all your people back into Egypt again. This time, this time how you going to take them? With ships. With what? Ships. With ships. With ships. With ships. Understand this. This place we live in called America, it is spiritual Egypt. This is spiritual Egypt right here, right? That's why when you take a dollar bill out, right? What you see on the back of your dollar bill? What you see on the back of your dollar bill? What you see on the back of your dollar bill when you take it out? And what else? All seeing eye, where that come from? Egypt, you understand? What else you see on the dollar bill? In God we trust, right? That's gold, oil, and drugs. What else you see on the dollar bill? What else you see on the dollar bill? You see one of them triangles? What's that triangle? What's that triangle you see? Right? What's below the eye? What's below the eye? You see the all seeing eye, then what's underneath of it? A t somebody get this man a dollar bill. Somebody get this man a dollar bill, man. Huh? Anybody got no dollar, man? Get this man a dollar bill, man. He talking about a tomb. What the hell is this? <laughs> Okay, you talking about the pyramid. Pyramid of tomb? All right. All right. I'll give you that one. All right, so the pyramid. All right, so where the pyramid come from? What they represent? A burial tomb. A burial mm -mm. tomb. Why we ain't got no pyramids over here? I got a lot of people buried in the cemetery, but I don't see no tombs. You understand? I, but I don't, see no, I don't see no pyramids. I got a lot of people that died in my family. Why don't see no, why don't see no pyramids? Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> but who was? Right. Right. I don't know. All, who was? No where did that come from? Where, where do you find that? In, where do you find that on the earth? You can find it in Colorado now. Where, but where do you find the pyramids in, in, in on the earth? In Egypt. In Egypt. In Egypt. In Egypt. You know that. You knew that. Come on. You find the pyramids in Egypt. All right. Now at the bottom, you see some numbers, right? What them numbers say? What language is it? You see some numbers on the bottom of it. Where that come from? Those are Roman numerals. You understand? That's Latin. Right? That's Latin. On your dollar bill. Why is that? Because this place really ain't what you think it is. It's a spiritual Egypt. You understand? This is Babylon the Great. You understand? This is, this is an extension of Rome. Right? This is the eagle that the Bible speaks about. This is the mother of harlots. You understand? That's what this place is. All right? This is, this is the mother of harlots that we live right now. We're raising our children. The mother of harlots is raising our children. That's what's going on. And then we wonder why they twerking on cars at rallies and at the abortion clinic. Why they twerking on the hoods of cars. That's what we wonder why. Because when they're being raised by the mother of harlots. Because children are raising children. They think it's all right. Let me ask you this. Who built the pyramids? Who built the pyramids, sis? Now, you know that's not true. Who built the pyramids? What do you think the Israelites was doing in Egypt? Thank you. They was building pyramids. Right? You know that. Hold on, bro. 
We talking about who built the pyramids. Come on, man. You got to learn this before you leave. All right. We talking about who built the pyramids. She said the Israelites. She's right. 100%. The Israelites built the pyramids. You understand? The Israelites built the pyramids. Give me Exodus 20, verse 1. Or 2. The Israelites are the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans scattered across the old earth. Are they Hebrew? Their forefather is Eber. That's where Hebrew comes from. You understand? But guess what? Your oppressor is a Hebrew. The white man, that's a Hebrew too. The, 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 the man that strapped the, uh, the, the C4 on his, on his, on his uh, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Who I'm talking about? You, you, what you mean you have no clue? Who strapped the C4 on a, on a chest and then go out into a public place and scream something real loud and blow everybody up? Who do that? What people do that? Who, who you know? Who do that? Me. There you go, the Arabs. That's who do that. You understand? The Bible's a true book. The Bible told me all of this before it ever happened. But they're not the only country that doesn't have. Um, we care about our life. We would never do anything to our people. I said to, to follow that. Right. We we ain't we ain't go. We not we weren't created with that spirit. We not a wild man like that. There's a nation on earth that say wild wild man. That's not us. The Bible told me who the wild man was. And that man is living all the way up to what the Bible said he would do. All right? But what I want to talk about is who built the pyramids, right? Who built the pyramids in Egypt? My brother, listen to this right here. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So the blacks and Hispanics was delivered out of Egypt by Moses. When they were in Egypt, what were they doing? They were slaves. They were slaves. So when we go back to Deuteronomy 28 and we read what it said, the scripture is really saying we're going to go back into slavery. How? By what means? Read it again from the top. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. And the Lord. He just got it. He's smiling now. He just got it. He got it. Read it again. Read it again. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. The Lord said he's going to take us back into Egypt. Into e Egypt is what? It's slavery. The Lord's going to take us back into slavery. How are you going to take us into slavery? Again with ship. With what? Ship. With what? Ship. With what? Ship. How did we get here to this place? We got here with ships. We got here on ships. We got here on ships. So how we know we the Israelites? Because we fit the prophecies. Come on. Read on. By the way, wherefore I spake unto thee. The way whereof I spake unto thee. All right, come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to go back to where you came from. Once you get off these ships over here, you're not going to have no ties back where you came from. That's why we don't know it. We know we said we African, but we don't know what country we came from. We don't know. We don't know. One of the countries... President is Monroe because he sent slaves back. And they had names back. They had Smith and Johnson. Right, but those names, Henderson, Smith, and Johnson, who did they come from? No choice. They came from the white man. No choice. Right, but that would But what I'm trying to what I'm trying to show you is God said that that would happen to us before it happened. Before it happened, he said it would happen. Right. Before it happened, he said your name will be Johnson. Your name gonna be Jane. Your name gonna be Smithfield. Your name gonna be Blacksmith. Your name gonna be Banks. Your name gonna be Jones. Right. Your name gonna be Hen Howell and Henry. You understand? The, the Lord said all of that. The Lord right. says he knows the beginning. Right. The Lord said all of that. All right. So so look so look so look. After we got off the slave ships, the Lord's gonna say what you just said. All right. Just listen good. Come on. And there ye shall be sold. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the there? And when you get off the ships, there, where's the there? Where's the there? Fort Monroe. Fort Monroe. Very good. Where's the there? Where's the there? Fort Monroe. Where else is the there? Give me another one. Give me another. What about Charleston? What about uh, Richmond, Shaco Bottle? What about, uh, I mean, it's all over. You know what I'm saying? It was later. You right. But what else? Where else? Fort, Fort Monroe, you right. That's the first place they went. Bro, you give me a pound for that one. Because you couldn't have gave a better answer. Come, come here, man. You couldn't have gave a better answer, man. They give me a pound, man. You can give me a pound. You can leave me hanging, man. You give me no pound. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Our communication right there. They already communicated. 
from Portugal to talk English got us sold. They were already they was communicating, all right? They was communicating. But listen, the Most High, he said this to his prophets before it ever happened. Before it ever happened, he said, we can go to Fort Monroe. And what happened when we got to Fort Monroe? I don't know, got what, what happened? Say it again. What happened when we got to Fort Monroe? It's going gonna, it's gonna to tell you what happened when we got to Fort Monroe. Read you got, read you got. And there. And where? And there. At Fort Monroe, come on. Ye shall be sold. You shall what? Shall be sold. You shall be what? Shall be sold. You shall be sold at Fort Monroe, come on. Unto your enemy. To your friends. Your enemy. Wait, 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 wait a minute. So you telling me, hold on, wait a minute. You telling me the people that bought us was our enemies? Yes. They want our friends? No. They want our friends? No. So today are they friends now? No. Are they our friends now? No. No, they're not. You see what I'm saying? Oh, they, God calls them what? What does God call them, sister? They're on our back. What, 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 what does God call them? Be not your friend, you have to be scared. What, what does God call them? What does God call them? God calls them what? Read, read that. Read that again. And there ye shall be sold at Fort Monroe. When you get off the ships, ye shall be what? Sold. Ye shall be sold to who? Unto your enemy. Your friends. Enemy! Your employers? Enemy! Your neighbors? Enemy! Your brothers? Enemies! Your enemies. That's what the Bible says. Your enemies. That's who they are. They keep you down. They keep you down. Did they keep us down in slavery? Yes. Yes, they did. There was a white man on the black beach. They gave us all the beach there because they came from Prohibition. Then when they came, Right. And now they took that back from us now. Right. Now you go down to the beach. Who live there now? Right. It's all our enemies down there now. Right. They took the whole damn beach. Right. Then they get mad when we go on the beach. They want to make it private. Okay. They want to put gates up and stuff. We can't, we trying to go out and fish, provide for our family. They say, nah, you better get permission from me first. You need a license to go fish now in Virginia. You know that? Yeah. You need a light. Who you gotta go get your license from? The same man that bought you when you got off them ships. That's the same man you gotta go to get a fishing license nowadays. But he not God. No, he not God. He melted he melt that uh the uh, the North Pole. The water's coming down. They're coming off that beach. The, the white man doomed. He got big problems. He got big, he got big problems. You know what he's trying to do now? He's trying to go to the moon now. He taking a uh, sperm to moon. So just in case this place get destroyed, he hoped that he can make it up there to reproduce in in a, in, in outer space. That's his hope right now. That's happening. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. That's what's happening. He got big problems. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. The Lord is bringing judgment to the white man. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. I agree with you. I, I agree with you 100%. Read on. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. No man shall be able to save us. No one's been able to save us but the black Messiah. That's the only man that can save us, all right? So we come out here to teach his prophecies, to make it plain for the people, because we don't know who we are in these last days, right? Earlier today, you told me that your mother was a Mexican, right? But you learned your mother, God calls your mother what? Issachar, right? Issachar, you understand, right? Your father was probably a black man, you understand? From the tribe of Judah, he just had money like King James, you understand? That's probably who he was, you understand? Because your thing's clicking in your mind. You understand? Spirit bearing witness. Y'all here with a nice dress on. That's good. That's good. You're supposed to be dressed like that, sister. You ain't supposed to be out here showing off. You see how these little girls dressed out here? Well, I get on them. That's a shame, ain't it? I get on That's, you, you, do you, are you. Do you live in this neighborhood? No. Where you stay at? In you live in Okay. All right. So you ain't too far from here. I'm my third set of kids. I'm the oldest of four. Okay. okay. Are you married? We raised. I'm a widow. Okay. Your husband, was he a black man? Yeah. All right. Did he keep God's commandments? No. All right. Well, guess what? But I chose you, him. Get, I didn't man, you all right, sister. You all right. You all right, sister. We need more sisters like you on this earth.
And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.